Welcome. I thought I'd do a really small video on uh, graphing absolute value inequalities. I'm going to try to wrap it up relatively quickly. Now, when I have absolute value inequalities, you should already know how to graph linear inequalities. You should already know how to graph absolute value equations. If you don't know these things, this won't make any sense. So in this case, I'm going to start out with the parent function y is greater than or equal to the absolute value of x. So I just need to draw the absolute value of x. Since there's a line underneath, I am going to use the solid line here. All I have to do now is shade. I'm looking for it to be greater than, so I'm going to shade up. Uh, in the next one, I'm going to use the parent function again. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that there. Um, for, from here, what I need to do is uh, think about my shading again. And I also forgot that I needed to think about whether it's solid or dotted. I keep thinking I'm using a regular pencil, which is much easier to do that with. So I'm actually going to go back and make the dots. It is dotted. In case you were like, how come you're not dotting it? Well, it's because I was being stupid and forgot. Um, so there it is. Now the shading part, y is next to little n, so it's less than. So I'm going to actually shade down here. And finally, I end up with this gigantic one. The thing is, I need to divide everything by negative 1 because it starts out with negative y. When I do that, that actually changes the inequality. It flips it. So I end up with 1 half times the absolute value of x minus 2 and minus 1. So now I can graph it relatively easily. I'm going to go in, find my vertex, which is going to be y negative 1 and to the 2 on the right for my x. So right here, uh, the 1 half is going to flatten it out a whole bunch. So instead of my parent function, I get the much flatter version. And then uh, y is less than here, so I need to shade down. I'm going to try to graph all three of these on the uh, calculator like or uh, one at a time. I was going to do them all at once, and then I realized that two of them are almost exactly the same. So if I'm going to graph these, um, let's clear this out. <clears throat> I need to go in and set up my catalog to do absolute value. Put x in. It's greater than. And remember, the calculator at this point, without an app added to it, won't <clears throat> show you uh, shaded versus solid. So you're just going to have to know. Graph it. You end up with this, just like I said. On the flip side of it. It would be a dotted line, but you can't see it here because, like I said, you can't have both worlds. But here's the less than shade. And the last one, which is a little bit kooky, I'm going to get um, it's less than now. So I'm going to go ahead and click in for less than negative 1 over 2. Forgot to push the 1 in. That was a problem click out, go to the catalog. Calculator is probably very angry with me right now just because of the fact that I've been doing um, I have so much stuff in this one. By the way, in case you're wondering, how come you didn't do the 2 here when you divided by negative 1? It's because it's in the absolute value and it's already being multiplied by this, so changing the sign on this effectively changes it on this as well. So I didn't need to do that. So I'm going to graph it. And for some reason, I forgot to flip it over. I don't know what I was thinking. It's positive 1 half. That's what I did. I accidentally hit negative instead of 1 because I flipped it over to here. Sorry about that. So do this, and it should match up to what I told you it looked like originally. There it is. See, it's a little bit to the right. And that's it. Graphing linear or absolute value inequalities, not a super huge.